Stevenson gets a 72-52 win over Lebanon Valley this evening. Glenn Clark alongside head coach Gary Stewart. Uh, coach, got tested a little bit in the second half. They got it back within five points. What were you proud of in the effort to to handle, withstand that, and pull away? Yeah, I thought at times it, it went pretty well. And then at other times it felt like a visit to the dentist. You know, it, it just uh, wasn't as smooth as we would like. But credit Lebanon Valley. I mean, they – um, they compete really, really well. They're well coached and spread us out, and, uh, and we fouled too much. Um, I thought they uh, uh, competed really, really well. So um, any time that we didn't do something right, they took advantage of it. Uh, but on the, on the flip side, I thought we did a lot of things right today. Uh, we out-rebounded them by 18. Um, you would have liked to have handled the ball a little bit better than we did. Uh, but... Uh, um, but I did see some improvement there as well in terms of our decision making. And then I thought we were balanced. We had 10 guys scoring double figures. So uh, you bring that up. It was not any one guy that was maybe taken over or anything like that. Is that what this team, when it's at its best, is that what this team is about? Is just the ball movement and recognizing, making those types of plays and not having one player who's going to suck that up? Correct. Uh, you, you know, I don't think there's anybody pleased in the locker room. Um, from what we did offensively, I, I felt like we had a lot of opportunities that we just didn't capitalize on. Um, but um, we have a lot of different places to go get a basket, and so that's very comforting uh, for um, not only student athletes but for the coaching staff as well, that we don't have to force things because we can uh, get it to a player that's playing against the air or has an ad, ad, um, advantageous situation, and, and we can capitalize on that. You pointed out as we were looking at the stat sheet that Joey Lutz finished plus 28 tonight. Um, and, and again, it doesn't maybe jump off the page at you statistically and you see the point total or something like that. But on, on both ends of the floor, what was he doing right that the team was playing so well when he was out there? Yeah, he has the unique ability to impact the group. Um, he's um, kind of wise for his years because you look at the plus minus. It's not just uh, tonight, which is a staggering number, plus 28. But um, throughout uh, the season so far, he's really um, – um, impacted that category and that means that he's doing a lot of things you know he's handling the ball really well he's um, uh, screening well that those some of the things that don't get noticed um, taking good shots and and uh, and then he's got to play the other end too so we're asking him to play um, some tough matchups and challenging him and um, and then go back and get it and rebound. So we're asking a lot of him, and, and he's uh, been up to the task. All right, so you guys are going to get a little bit of a break here, and then we're not going to actually see you until January. You have a couple of trips. What do you still want to see from this group before you get back into conference play or before you get into – I guess i got to remind myself this wasn't conference play tonight, obviously. Before you get into conference play, what do you still want to see from this group? We have to ride the bull. You know, we've got to go to Wittenberg. They're the all-time winningest program in the history of Division Three basketball. So we'll play in their tournament, stiff competition there. And then uh, for good measure, we'll go down to Virginia and play in uh, the defending national champions uh, tournament, Christopher Newport. So we'll get a lot of information about ourselves. We're looking forward to competing. Obviously, we know that uh, the task at hand, we'll get through finals and, and celebrate the successes there academically. And then uh, we're going to get to work. Um, it's a great time of year because it's just all basketball and opening gifts and and for the coach it's eating a lot of food so yeah. so everybody's happy sounds good to me too sounds good to me all right give me your coach what's the one give me the christmas song that you can't help but hum along to and then give me the one that like if you hear it again you're pretty sure you're gonna end up like breaking a window um uh well merry christmas baby you sure to treat me right that, okay. that's fantastic uh, and uh um, not that I don't like the song, but um, boy, Jingle Bells is is, is tough, really? uh, tough after about seventy five uh, rounds <laughs> uh, per day. But uh, but I, I like them all, so, so that's a really tough question. Right. But uh, th those are two things that come to mind. Uh, happy holidays to you, Coach. Always appreciate it. And we'll see you back here in January. All right. Thank you, Glenn. Happy holidays to you and your family. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. Go Mustang Sports TV.